Hi, I'm David Lawrence, founder and CEO of the Mission Gate Foundation. In this episode of our You Asked series, we're going to address the issue of going up and down steps with bilateral prosthetic limbs. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you that if you go to YouTube slash Mission Gate prosthetic training series, there is a video on there on stairs and ramps for the amputee. In that video, we go through in detail unilateral below the knee, bilateral below the knee, and unilateral above the knee. So we cover most of those things in more detail than we will here. But we're lucky enough to have Stephanie with us today, and what she's gonna do is demonstrate some of the things we're doing with bilateral below the knee, and then we'll talk about and demonstrate one above and one below, and then bilateral above the knee. So, with that being said, Stephanie, come on around the front here, and all I want you to do is both hands on the rails, and if we're lucky enough to have two rails that aren't too far apart, she's simply gonna put one foot up. Now, hold on, don't step up yet. Mm -hmm. She's putting one foot up, simply which one? I always tell her, just put a foot up. Whichever one you feel better about, that's the right one to put up. So you'll naturally kind of go forward. The key mistake people make here is they try to lift themselves up. Mm -hmm. The key with Stephanie is she is going to want to lean forward and just straighten her knee. Lean forward and straighten her knee, and then bring the other foot up. Notice what she did with the other foot, too. She lifted it out to the back to not drag the toe on the step and trip herself. So just repeat that, Stephanie. Up, lean forward, straighten the knee. You don't have to kick out quite that exaggerated. Just up a little bit to make sure the toe doesn't drag. There you go. And all the way up. Perfect. Make sure that toe doesn't drag. Clear the step. Perfect. Turn around. Coming down, if you're going the same way with bilateral railing, what she wants to do is step forward with either foot, right, and bend, and notice how she came down pretty quick. What I'd like her to do is take a second to get this leg nice and straight underneath you. All right, so step down, get your weight all the way on top of it, now step down, there you go. And notice how she hangs that foot a little bit off the edge of the foot, off the edge of the, sh the um, step, I mean, just to get a little more clearance and she doesn't drag the prosthetic coming down. Now turn around Stephanie and let's assume you only have one railing. Mm -hmm. So if you have one railing, you want to put both hands on that rail, so go ahead and do so. And then you're going to step up kind of on a 45 degree angle to the step. Get that foot all the way on the step, there you go. All the way deep on the step so you can get that other foot in place. Notice that angle allows her to keep both hands on the railing and give her the stability that she needs to come to the top. Good. And if you're turning around, Stephanie, right there and coming down the same side, we're going to step out. Make sure you clear enough room to bring your other foot down. Out. There you go. So a little bit wider than that even. Out on the step a little bit more. Nope, not that foot. The wider on this foot, narrow on that one. Mm. There you go. Wide and then narrow. Excellent. Now notice when you come sideways too, that knee is less likely to buckle. So if someone's weak, stepping down to the front and your knee bends forward. So it's easier to, for your knee to buckle on you. If you turn a little bit sideways and step down, you're putting a lot more pressure on the outside of your knee where it doesn't bend and it creates natural stability. So if someone's a little bit weaker getting started, that's a great place to start. Now the next thing we're talking about is the idea of the above the knee and below the knee. In this situation, what you want to do is step up with the below the knee first, right? It's a more natural thing, and do one step at a time, bringing the above knee, uh, knee up as well. You have to, again, give that little bit of an exaggerated backwards motion to clear the toe when you go over the step. Coming down, the same issue. You want to basically step opposite. Now, with the above knee prosthetic coming down first, and then bring the below knee down to it. On that step, repetitively, one step at a time. Same thing, both rails. And also we can assess that and look at that with one single rail. Many people at home have stairs and their rails are just too far apart to get a good grip on both sides. So you always wanna teach patients how to do it with single rail only. And the last thing we're gonna look at is a bilateral above the knee. Now we don't have that today, uh, a patient available for us. So what we're gonna do is use Stephanie and let her help us out with assuming that those knees were fixed because on an above knee amputee going up and down steps, the knee is gonna have to be fixed on the way up, and unless you have a microprocessor knee or a hydraulic knee, it'll have to be fixed on the way down. So we're gonna show you that because that's the lowest level. And then, again, if you watch that video of the single limb above the knee, that's a hydraulic knee, and you can see how that can function coming down steps, but still single leg going up. So Steph, come around here if you don't mind and just face both hands on the railing. Uh, oh, no, let's go, yeah, one on the other side. Now hold for a second, come back down. Now assume your knees do not bend. Right, so what I want you to do is keep one knee straight and put it over here real close to the edge. Good, rock your weight right into that foot and bring your other foot up to the same level, just like that. 
Now notice what she's doing. The knees are not bending. She's basically leaning herself side to side to clear the foot, but also just shifting her weight from one foot into the other. This can actually, hold for a second right there, come back down. You can actually go from here and go right up to the top step. So if she gets stronger, she can lean right into this guy, go all the way up, and then lean into that guy and pull herself all the way back up. A Little bit harder, step all the way around. <laughs> but as you get stronger, that's something you can do. Coming down, it's basically the same process. She has to give herself room for, there you go, to be able to keep her knees locked out and be able to shift her hips. Notice how much hip action is going on here. Holding on to the rail for stability, try not to bend that knee. She lift it up to step it off. There you go. Lift it up to step it off. Excellent. Turn around and one more time. We're going to assume we only have one rail. Okay. So this one's a little bit more difficult. Face that rail. Put both hands on it. Good. Step back towards me a little bit. Good. Now I want you to take this foot, put it up onto the step, deep onto the step into that area. Now, again, keep that knee straight. Pull yourself into it and bring that other foot up. And then repeat that process. If you don't have enough room, you need to step back a little bit with this foot mm -hmm. so that when you land it, you have a little more room to move the foot on the next one. There you go. Good. And from there, just come right back down. So if I'm coming down the steps, I do the same thing. Give yourself room, but that foot goes out front. So step wide on the step out here. Give yourself room for your other foot to be closer. This foot's closer to the back. There you go. Step down and off, all keeping those knees locked out the entire time, up and down. So in this one, we're just gonna let Stephanie do what she can do at home, which is basically uses the rail, but leg over leg. So as you gain confidence, you come up, she's gonna bring her foot up all the way solid, step all the way to the next step, keeps leaning forward to be strong, lean forward to be strong, lean forward to be strong, that gives her all the way up the step. Coming down, same thing, if she has both railing, and she, again, seal the toes, hang the toes a little bit off the end. That gives her an ability to get that knee to bend a little bit easier with a little bit less back pressure, and yet she's very stable up and down the steps. I hope this answers your question regarding up and down stairs with bilateral prosthetics. If you found this rapid fire information useful and you want to know more, please visit our video library at YouTube slash MissionGate or visit our website at missiongate.org. Thank you.